In this problem, we're told a person scuffing her feet on a wool rug on a dry day accumulates a net charge of minus 46 microcoulombs. How many excess electrons does she get and by how much does her mass increase? Right, so we're told she's going to get a charge of minus 46 microcoulombs. We're trying to find the number of excess electrons and her mass, right? So we're solving for two different things. So let's just go ahead and start with the number of electrons, right? So how many excess electrons does she get? So basically, we know it's going to have a charge of minus, uh, minus 46 microcoulombs. So all we have to do is convert minus 46 microcoulombs into electrons, right? So let's go ahead and do that first. So minus 46 microcoulombs. So if we want to convert from microcoulombs to electrons, what we want to do first is convert into coulombs, and then we can convert from coulombs to electrons, right? Because we know uh, one electron is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 uh, coulombs. Right, and so first we just got to convert from microcoulombs to coulombs. Uh, we know that there are one million coulombs, or microcoulombs, sorry, for every one coulomb. Right, so that'll cancel out uh, the microcoulombs, and now it's in coulombs. And then we just have to convert from uh, coulombs into uh, electrons. Right, so it's one point six zero two times ten to the minus nineteen uh, coulombs. Right, and so keep in mind that this is negative meaning this also has to be negative, right? Because the negative signs are going to cancel, and then we're just going to get a positive number of electrons, right? Because since this is negative, it has a negative charge, right? One electron is going to have a negative charge. So one electron is equal to that, and then now we just have, right, these Cs cancel, and we're just going to do 46, divide by 1 million, and then divide by 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. And when you do that, you're going to get 2.9, or about 2.9 times 10 to the 14 uh, electrons. So this is essentially your answer to the first part. So this is going to be the number of electrons, right, excess electrons she gets, right? And now we want to find how much her mass increases. So we know she's going to gain this many electrons. And what we do is we know the mass of an electron, right? So the mass of an electron, one electron, is equal to 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms, right? So if we want to convert electrons, right, the amount she gains electrons into kilograms, that's going to give us the total mass or mass increases, right? So we just want to do 2.9. And so the exact answer for this was 2.871. So this was actually 2.871. I just rounded to 2.9. So I'm going to use this more exact value when I solve for the mass. So 2.71 times 10 to the 14 electrons was the more exact answer. So I'm going to use that. So we have 2.871 times 10 to the 14 electrons. And then we know one electron is equal to right, 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kg, right, and now we have it in kg, right, so 2.871 times 10 to the 14 times 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31, when you do that, you're going to get about 2.6 times 10 to the minus 16 kilograms, right, so this is going to be how much, how many kilograms she gains as a result of uh, this net charge, right, a net charge of uh, minus 46 microcoulombs. But yeah, so this is going to be the amount of mass, her, how much her mass increases, and this is the amount of electrons uh, she's going to gain, right? So these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.